post big chop anniversary. Yay! Um, I'm also eight and a half months post, um, well, into my hair, uh, healthy hair journey. Um, that passed on the 20th of June, and my, um, my today is the is July 9th, which is my one month. I cut my hair June 9th, 2013, so it's been officially one month since I cut this off. Um, I wanted to talk about my experience post Big Chop. The questions that I've been getting, um, I'm gonna answer to you. So a lot of questions is why did I Big Chop? Okay, I Big Chop because, and it's crazy because I planned to long term transition. I know I said I would never Big Chop. I always said like I don't understand how girls like just cut off all their hair and they have no sense of stop. It's like no like real like cut. You know, like when you go to a professional, they they blend it. It has a style. You know. I, don't, I never understood why girls would just like randomly cut at their hair, you know what I'm saying? And it was kind of crazy to me that people actually did that. And But honestly, like going through the transition of dealing with two textures was just ridiculous after a while. Like when I got to like month seven, it, well, it started getting hard around month three, and that's when I, I started trying to find protective styles. But then I made it last, but around like month seven, I just couldn't deal with it. It was like this much like natural hair and the rest was just straight. And it was just like, like dealing with straight, like dealing with two textures was just ridiculous for me. And I couldn't deal with it anymore. And after a while, like putting your hair in a ponytail was crazy because it was just not, it was too short to like um, fit all the curly hairs into the ponytail, but it was too like, you know, so it would be puffy, but you know, oh, it was just a nightmare. So, you know, and also I had the bleach in the front that I had cut off because it was just driving me crazy. So, you know, I just was, I just, just needed to be done. Another question I get a lot is, how did I feel once I big chopped? Honestly, I felt very indifferent. Um, I chose to cut it um, because I got sick of the uh, straight ends. Um, so I knew what I was getting myself into. But, um, so I was, ex that was like, at the same time I was excited about seeing my curls again, but at the same time, I wasn't excited about the length. And then another question people ask me is how did everybody else react to my big chop? Um, everyone was pretty supportive. Everyone, um, kind of, everyone liked it. Um, they liked my curly hair on me. They thought I have a face for curly hair. Uh, a lot of people, you know, say like, you know, you have a nice face, so it's not a big deal when you cut your hair, it flatters you, like whatever. Um, some people, if they didn't like it, they didn't say anything, they just kind of like, oh, you cut your hair, you know? Or, like, the, then the people who actually knew I was actually on this journey actually encouraged me to do it. Like, my mom had been telling me to cut my hair off for months. Um, my friend Kelsey had said, you know, you're gonna get sick of it, you might as well just cut it. And I did, so I cut it. <laughs> now, another question is, how do I feel now that I've big chopped? Um, I don't know. I'm glad I did it. Um, I love my curls, but I do miss having long hair. Um, I try to think of styles just so I can take my mind off having such short hair. I mean, it's kind of hard because I really can't even get this into a ponytail. <laughs> I can't even get this into like two ponytails. Like, it's really short. Like, I mean, it's not that sh well. Anyway, it's short to me. So, you know, it's a challenge. But I've been trying to just think of some like styles just to switch it up. I've done a couple of styles, um, but this right now. Um, this is that style I was about to change. I'll be posting a hair of the month, hairstyle of the month, um, style per month, and that'll, you'll be checking that out soon, which then leads to my next question is, um, how do I plan, what do I plan, um, for the future of my channel? Um, well, one, I'm going to be having monthly post big chop, um, link checks, and, um, just so you guys can see as how the progression of my curly fro <laughs> um because eventually this is gonna grow out and uh you know turn into long curly hair so um i'll do a monthly check and every month on the ninth i'll post a video about how my hair is growing out and how long it is of course like i said i will do, be doing hairstyle of the month tutorials where i will have every month i will have a style where i will, sh I will show you how i do that particular style, and um, I might do a few get ready with me's, um, which will be like hair, makeup, clothes. I might do a few of those, and also my girlfriend videos, which is predominantly Kelsey 
and she'll be speaking to parents and talking about her hair and her journey. So that's the plan for the future of this channel. And um, how long is my hair as of today, which is July 9th, 2012. My hair is four inches, but it comes to the bottom of my neck. See, it's like, it shrinks a lot. So it comes to about here. If you can see, see, and it stops like right there. Um, I'm only gonna show how long it is here from the back nape of my neck and probably like my bang. So it stops here on the nape of my neck and from my bang, it, if I pull it, it comes like right at the start of my eye, like right, like right there. So it comes like right there. Yeah, the start of my eyelid. So that is the like check and I have 50% shrinkage. So yeah. And uh, any advice that I have on who is, for anyone who is transitioning or um, thinking about big chopping, um, educate yourself. Learn everything there is to know about natural hair. Learn about hairstyles, learn about big chopping, learn about transitioning, learn about moisture, learn about um, trims, learn about texture. Like, people always try to like, you know what irritates me a lot about people on YouTube is that they don't want to, especially if they've been on the, like, had their channel for a while, they try to act like they don't know their hair type. Like, I know the hair typing system is a little rigged, but it really is helpful to kind of know what range your hair is. I know, like, everyone has textures all over their head, but there is a prominent texture for your overall head, you know? And, like, for me, I'm 3C, like, my curl diameter or whatever, um, a pencil, a little, a pencil can fit in my curl, so I'm a 3C. And, um... Of course, like my front curls are a little bit looser, and I have a straight piece right here, and I have a looser three three B curl right here. This is the only three B curl I have, and you know it's different in everywhere, but for the most part, my hair is three C, and for for the definition of three C. Um, I'll, maybe somebody, some people don't know what people mean when they say three C three B because you know everyone, um, everyone, um. Like, there's different ranges, so you'll see, like, ten types of 3Bs, and you'll be like, wait, they don't all look the same. But there is a prominent, like, like, poll as to what, like, your hair type is. You kind of have a gist of what that hair type is. Like, 3C is a, t a tightly curled, um, pattern, whereas 3B is a looser curl pattern, whereas a 3A is a big curl pattern. Like, it's just, like... Edu just educate yourself on the different types of typing system. I think it's necessary, but you also have to keep in mind when it, like um, There's a difference between curl pattern and hair texture whereas like You can have you can be a 3 you can 3 be a 3C but have a very coarse texture like like you touch your hair and it's thick like the strand is actually thick or you know your 3C your curl is the circle the same size as mine but your hair is really fine it's like super soft and thin and it feels like baby hairs like it's that's another thing that people get confused when it comes to hair texture versus hair um hair um curl pattern so that's another discussion for probably another time but um yeah, and educate yourself about that. Educate yourself about products. Don't become a product junkie. Just like have, I think it's it's very good to have a cleanser, whether you want to use shampoo or not. I preferably preferably use shampoo. Just I don't have parabens or sulfates in mine, but I like shampoo. Um, you have a deep conditioner. You have a leave-in conditioner. You have a um a sealant which is like you know oil or a moisturizer and then you have like an actual moisturizer which is like maybe a leave-in conditioner or which you know that goes with that and then there's your styler which would be your gel like i think there's like a certain group of things like you need one thing per um per group so i think um that's important to have don't get over lower load on things like just because you're going natural or just because you know you're cutting light off your hair like just you know, get educated on products, try it out, but use the whole thing. And if you don't like it, you know, I guess if you don't want to use the whole thing, give it away. But just try to educate yourself on things and um, 
Yeah, it'd be nice to your hair. Finger combing has helped me a lot. I actually didn't think I would ever finger comb, but I still use a comb. But finger combing does help a lot, like, more now. Um, just educate yourself on natural hair. Like, I spent eight months educating myself on natural hair before I um, cut my hair off, which is crazy because I was natural before all this happened. But I felt like, you know, obviously this happened because I wasn't as educated as, on natural hair as I thought I was, even though I had been natural my whole life. You know, my curl pattern was, you know, altered and, you know, my texture had, you know, been damaged and, you know, whatever. And so um, I decided to act like I had never seen my hair ever in my life and I'm going to learn from scratch. And I think that that we have all this information that we didn't have before, you know, now from YouTube and hair forms. And it's important um, if we want to grow really long, healthy hair. So educate yourself and don't be afraid of Big Chop. I do recommend transitioning for as long as you can. Um, but do also do what works for you. Although it's great to find people with um, similar textures as you, um, but no two, set, no two set of textures are exactly alike. Um, take people's regimens and tips as inspiration um, and advice, not just like as the holy grail, you know? And I encourage people to transition for as long as they can, but if the two textures are um, causing more harm and breakage, I do suggest big chopping. I'll just cut it off, you know, because damaging the risk of damaging your your natural hair in the process of trying to retain the length is not worth it. So, and you're planning to cut it off anyway. So you might as well just cut it off. And honestly, having like short hair builds your confidence because it's like, you know, you're going around you know, a lot of people hide behind their hair, you know, they hide behind trying to make themselves look good with their hair and it's like this really does you know, you're not you don't have as much of it and you know, this really does boost your confidence a little bit because um, for me at least, I mean, walking on the street, I have to, I hold my head higher and I wear my glasses and I feel like a rock star, like, you know, like it's, you know, cutting your hair has its perks, but, you know, if you really feel like you just cannot do the whole, like, transitioning, I mean, the whole big chop thing, then wait, but if it's damaging your hair, I suggest just big chopping, and if you have to, just wear a weave or braids or something, if, if you can't stand the length, you know, but holding on to, like, those straight ends, but you're like damaging your hair because you're combing so much, it's just not even worth it for real. So that is my advice and this is my update. Let me get a closer look. Um, before I'm actually starting to get bangs, like, I know I'm not really getting bangs, but like right here, like how this is kind of starting to lay down on my forehead, this wasn't doing that before. It was like really like, like short, like, I mean, it wasn't that much shorter. It was like a half inch shorter, obviously, but you know, I'm, yeah, so this is what it's looking like right now. This is it completely dry. And yeah, I will see you in August. I mean, you'll see me before that, but as far as link check goes, you'll see me in August. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. <laughs>